Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Good morning. Buenos dias, everybody, from the beautiful, sunny, warm Arizona. I'm being very sarcastic right now. It is absolutely freezing. It is about 30 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. We are in Flagstaff, Arizona. Absolutely beautiful though. Look at these like big, I don't think they're mountains, but like rock pictures behind us. There's trees and all this gorgeous stuff it's right over there too. Very beautiful. Guys, but incredibly cold. What's crazy is we're gonna head only about two hours south, literally just that short of a drive into Phoenix, where it is going to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit warmer, about 20 to 25 degrees um, Celsius warmer, which is absolutely insane in like just a two hour drive. The reason being, elevation. I mean, also a little bit of latitude, but elevation. Right now we're, I don't know, seven-ish thousand feet elevation, I believe. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a whack of snow. I mean, I don't know, it's three, four feet. So anyway, yeah, let's head on down to Phoenix. Let's get some warm weather. I'm totally okay with it. Arizona does have snow. It is cold. We're up by the Grand Canyon, which was, I, that was, man, I went and saw it. It was so amazing. Uh, you'll definitely be able to check out the whole video of that on the other channel. But in that, guys, let's go for a drive because I'm freezing to death. Whether you use a PC, an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a Mac, War Thunder, the sponsor of today's video, is an absolutely epic military game that you have to check out. So War Thunder has advanced graphics and physics. Clouds in the sky are formed within the laws of physics, mud, dirt, and dust. It adheres to armored vehicles and it can be cleaned off in the water. Wind affects smokes and fire depending on the direction. They're both renowned and prototype vehicles from the beginning of the 20th century through to today. Each unit has its own features and actually feels different in control. War Thunder includes vehicles from 10 nations including the USSR, USA, Germany, Great Britain, Japan, China, France, Italy, Sweden, and Israel. Vehicles in War Thunder include ground forces, aviation, and naval vessels. The unique feature being different types of vehicles can participate in a single game. Session, for example, players can drive armored vehicles to gain control of the ground, while aircraft and helicopters fly above the clouds. In ocean maps, players may also take control of small and large naval vessels. Every single vehicle more thunder can be improved you can lock many additional devices armor and special equipment you can even improve the crew of the vehicle to increase its stats this is a wide customization there are various camouflage and unique skins for each vehicle war thunder locations now span the entire globe from africa to alaska all the maps look atmospheric and realistic thanks to the updated effects and realistic sounds and since there's always something new more thunder players that stop playing in the past will find themselves interested in discovering these new features but you can download war thunder for free using the link in the description and all new players and those who haven't entered war thunder for six months or more will receive 100,000 silver lions, a week of renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles as a gift forever, XP boosters, a week of premium account and other bonuses. So hurry up and get all these from the link in the description. The season of German gifts will soon come to an end. Stop. All right, everybody. So we finally made it. We stopped after about almost two hours. It is now officially 70 degrees. I need to take my winter coat off. It has been 40 degrees difference and we're technically not in quite in Phoenix yet. Maybe in the area, like the surrounding area, it's called Anthem. Anyway, we stopped at Circle K. I'm gonna grab a drink. We need to charge up this electric vehicle, which after this trip, I'm never buying an electric vehicle. I hate this. This is a Chevy Bolt. It's the worst thing ever and this costs me more than a gas vehicle. So, yeah, there's my rant about the electric vehicle. So let me go pee and let's get on the way. Joel Ants here. Today we are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Basically the Phoenix, Mesa, the etc. that whole area guys. Outside, cold beer and cheeseburgers. One of the many, many locations. So here they have a number of different burger challenges. Um, I was here a while ago and actually did a 15 patty. It was the first to introduce and do the 15 patty. Today I'm in a real rush, but we're gonna do one of them. We're gonna do the, I think, four patty today. Um, so basically it's gonna have a couple pounds of beef, cheese, 
bun, straightforward. You gotta beat the time record in order to get it for free. And if not, it is, I'll find out the price. But anyway, let's head in, have some fun, eat some food. I'll get the exact details. So a big burger, only a couple minutes. I think the time limit is four or five minutes. So we better hurry. So with that, let's head in, have some fun, eat some food. Let's go. Hi everybody, so here we are with the burger. So it is a $33 burger. That's where we are trying to get the $33 meal for free. I did get some gloves because these are incredibly juicy burgers. Um, and they put loads of cheese on this one. Before when I did it, they said cheese was optional. Today we got cut like two to three pieces. This top is three, I'll rest two pieces of cheese on each of these, so no shortage. I have myself some ketchup, you know I'm a big ketchup fan. I'm gonna get myself a ketchup pile, just for the fun of it, because it's here. I like my hot sauce, put a little hot sauce in that ketchup. Ketchup hot sauce mix, it is one of my favorite little combos. So anyway, they definitely know how to cook a burger here. You know, for those people who like their medium, rare, very medium rare, whatever I got, medium rare. So we'll see what this all about. But anyway, so 501 is the time we do have to beat. Ooh, hopefully this is not too hot. I am in a little bit of a rush, but I think it's okay. All right, so how about we get started at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Very juicy. And cooked very beautifully. Mm. I remember being a great burger last time and it really is. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to what is a very delicious burger challenge here at Cold Beer and Cheeseburgers. Let's just say they really know how to cook a burger. They like the flavor, the beef, just the taste of that grill. Um, they cook it perfectly. I asked for mine like a medium rare and it was cooked amazing. Check out that pink. Let me know in a comment down below if you like pink or no pink in your burger. A little bit of pink when it's good beef, good, you know, done right. Oof, man, it just makes a difference. These burgers are moist, juicy, seasoned. Uh, I can't say enough. Definitely a good challenge, but this was going to be a very quick challenge because we only had like five minutes. Delicious. This restaurant chain really does basically offer endless burger challenges. Each of the many locations all have their own record for like a three patty, four patty, five patty, six patty, and so on. So, I mean, you go to a different location and essentially do the same challenge over and over again, but yet it's technically different because it always has a new record and you have to always beat the record at the location in order to get the burger for free. Our stay would have been $33 if failed. We're done. Woo! Delicious. So I got two minutes, two seconds. Official time right there, two minutes, two seconds. Guys, I really do give a shout out. The burgers are really delicious here. Cold beer and cheeseburgers, they know how to do a burger. I mean, it's right in the name. But man, like, making so when it comes to just a nicely cooked burger, so juicy, well seasoned, I have no complaints. And they have like a set of records at all the locations. So the old record, 501, we're about 202. We shaved off about three minutes, so ain't too bad. But that was fantastic. Huge thanks to staff. They're super friendly here at this Scottsdale location. And uh, that's about it. We're gonna rock and roll. I'm definitely gonna come back and do another one of these challenges. Hopefully before I leave, I'll get the opportunity. I loved it, really did. So until next time, buddy. Hope you enjoyed a real quick one. But uh, yeah, definitely a good challenge for like a beginner all the way to an intermediate because they have like 14 15 patties you know what i'm saying so you want a big challenge a quick challenge you can do it all so so next time buddy's happy hungry happy eating have a little day and there we go everybody it is becoming official we are getting the record Woo! thanks my friend And we are on the old historic route 66. If you're not familiar, it's essentially a 
highway which goes through Arizona, I think New Mexico, I think it trends even into Las Vegas, uh, yeah, Nevada. Essentially, it is kind of a desert, rugged, known to be deathly highway. Um, it's also like one of the most stolen signs, especially like wherever the six, I think there's maybe one that's even 666, but like that Route 66 came very popular in kind of the rock culture of music. And uh, I mean, there's signs everywhere. We just passed a Route 66, definitely embraced by the buildings and or the uh, people along the route. That being said, I'll show you a little bit of Flagstaff. It's very like, I mean, this is not the best area. We just kind of went through, let's see some more interesting parts. But everything, there's a Dairy Queen of the Route 66 decal on it. Um, everything is, it's kind of like a bit of a, it reminds me of a mining town, a mountain town. Everything looks uh, just kind of a little, little like some of it's older or they're intended to look old. Like, I don't know if you can see those hotels over there. Like they're meant to look more like lodges, um, like mountainous. And like I said, this is not the best spot I guess I chose to show you guys, but lots of like uh, outdoor stores, gun shops, uh, everything you know you do when you are being outdoorsy. Hi everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.